The press club in Brussels has played host to an expert discussion conference on the Ukraine, Ukrainian crisis resolution through inclusiveness. Alexander Vilkul is number two in the opposition bloc political party and is standing in the Ukrainian election in October. Europe wants to see quickly and peacefully the resolution of the crisis in Ukraine. Europe wants to see a peaceful and fast resolution of the crisis in Ukraine. But European politicians already doubt that the current authorities are able to do it. But European politicians doubt already that the current authorities are capable of doing all that. Власть, которая поощряет избиение оппозиционных политиков на улице. The, the authorities that condone beating up the opposition politicians in the streets. Уничтожает экономику, раскалывает страну. That effectively destroys the economy and divides the country. The meeting was shown a video illustrating the current situation in Ukraine in which campaigning politicians were assaulted by masked government supporters as the police stood by and watched. Another of the speakers was Mykola Skorik, who is number 10 in the opposition bloc party and is also standing for election. Uh, what I wanted to say is that we are not going to give in, because it's not only about Mr. Shufrich or my personal security. It's about uh, uh, the security of the people, of the electorate uh, that has uh, uh, shown us the confidence uh, that is behind us. It is the question about the security, stability and integrity of the entire country. Irina Akimova is director of an economic think tank. Uh, we always should have the best hopes and I would like very much to see uh, the eastern part of Ukraine back into the peaceful uh, coexistence and new recovery. Uh, at the moment the situation does not look uh, very bright because over the last two months the industrial production, for example in Lugansk region, it's part of the Donbass, fell down by 87 percent and in Donetsk region it fell down by almost 60 percent, which means more or less destruction of industrial potential of Ukraine. However, I believe that under conditions that peaceful solution of the conflict in the East is provided with a great support from the Europe. Provided there is a very efficient and very concrete national plan of economic recovery and there is the institutions, the president, the government who are able to consolidate the society around the plan and to implement the plan, uh, Ukraine should go um, uh, into a new phase of recovery and it should come to a sustainable growth. It will take time and of course it will uh, to a large extent depend on the political outcomes of the forthcoming elections and on the uh, political processes which will follow after that. Peace, as Adam Smith once told, no? security of property rights are prerequisites of the sustainable economic growth and the recovery of the country. That we also need now. MEP Mark Demesmarker is an EU observer for the Ukrainian elections. Um, I say it developed too slowly. I'm afraid, or changed too slowly. The regime has changed, but the system hasn't changed. Um, and that's a pity because this country needs reforms very quickly. Uh, the uh, economic um, outlook is not good. Um, so we need reforms and we need them uh, quickly. 